To give us another good illustration of what resonance structures look like when we're trying to draw the Lewis structure, we're going to take a look at the dinitrogen tetroxide molecule, N2O4. And to make it easy, we already wrote down that the nitrogen has five valence electrons, oxygen has six valence electrons with the corresponding number of atoms, and so we have a total of 34 valence electrons to draw, to deal with, in order to form all the bonds. Since nitrogen is the lowest electronegative element of the two that are there, we're going to place those in the middle, and so we're going to start out with saying nitrogen and nitrogen like this, with a single bond between them, starting out with a single bond, and then we have oxygens attached to each of the two nitrogens, probably like this, and probably like this, and again, let's start off with a single bond, single bond, a single bond, a single bond, and now does that leave us with the correct uh, number of electrons everywhere and so forth? Well, notice that oxygen really would like to have two, double, two bonds, like a double bond rather than a single bond, because it's trying to acquire two electrons to make a total of eight electrons in their valence band. When you only make one bond, you don't have enough electrons for those oxygens. In addition to that, notice that nitrogen starts out with five valence electrons, and it now has three bonds, so only three of the five electrons are used in the bonding. Let me make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, like there so. we go. Um, and that would mean that there would then be additional two additional valence electrons for each of the nitrogen. Probably not the right way to set it up. Probably what's going to happen is that at least two of the oxygens would like to have additional bonds. So maybe this oxygen will have a double bond, this oxygen would have a double bond, so in each case one, one electron will be used from here to bring over there, one electron will from here to bring over there to make the double bond, and one electron from here, which means now you only have four valence electrons instead of five, which is a more stable configuration. Okay. And now we have in each case of the nitrogen, we now have four bonds that leaves us with one valence electron left. Now, it turns out that these oxygens right here with only one bond would only have five valence electrons each. Like so, and five valence electrons each, which is not a good stable configuration. And so what will happen is the extra electron that came from here will be transferred over to the oxygen because the oxygen will be pulling them in, the oxygen will be pulling that one in, and so now it looks like we have the proper number of electrons and the proper number of bonds. I think we have the proper structure now. Let's check and see. As far as the octet rule, we have two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight for each of the nitrogen, so that's good. These oxygens have eight each, so that's good. And these oxygens have eight each as well, and so that's good as well. So it looks like the octet rule is followed. What about the total number of electrons? Well, we have six plus six plus four plus four. That's a total of 20. Plus, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 electrons. Plus 14 is equal to 34 electrons. And it looks like that's the proper number. So as far as the total number of electrons, we, ma we matched what we needed, and the octate rules were followed. So it looks like we have ourselves on a Lewis structure. But what tells us that this is the proper way in which the bonding is set? Why don't we have these two as double bonds, or these two as double bonds, or this one and this one, or this one and this one? So you can see that there's a lot of different ways in which the Lewis structure could be drawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, we have all the various possibilities. For example, we can have a situation where we have nitrogen and nitrogen, we have this oxygen, this oxygen, this oxygen, this oxygen, and maybe we have it looking like this, with these as single bonds. And I'm not going to draw the other electrons, but that would be a possibility like that. Or we could have another possibility where they could be drawn like this. So I have a nitrogen, nitrogen, we have an oxygen, 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 like that. And so instead of having double bonds like this, so maybe we have the double bonds looking like this. And so then we have probably another possibility. So we can draw another resonance structure here. Nitrogen, nitrogen, like this. We have an oxygen, 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 oxygen. And let's see here. So we have it like that, like this. We have it like this. And so we could have it like this. So how about double bonds in this direction, in this direction, a single bond, and a single bond. And so you can see that there's a lot of different ways in which this molecule could exist. Um, so I have two at the bottom, two at the top. I have those two and those two. And it looks like that's the only way it can happen. 
it's not going to happen that these two are going to be over there or those two are going to be there. So those, those are probably violations of the rule. So it looks like we have those four possibilities. And so this is the resonance structure of the Lewis structure of the dinitrogen tetroxide molecule. If you want to be complete, then we have to put, of course, electrons in. So we can put the electrons in here. We can put the electrons in here. And then we can put the two there, two there, two there and to there, to there, and to there. And we can do the same over here. Four extra valence electrons, four extra valence electrons. We have six over here, and we have six over here. And finally, to be complete, we put four over here, we put four over there, and we put the six electrons over there, and six electrons over there. And now we're set. We now have what we call the resonance structure of the dinitrogen tetroxide molecule. So um, again, one quarter time it will look like this, one quarter time it will look like this, one quarter time it will look like this, and one quarter time it will look like this. So a very good example of resonance structures.